lower. Today we have uh, this ruling problem. So essentially, uh, a base of a metric space uh, X uh, is uh, a collection of open substance uh, VA such that uh, for every X that belongs to a uh, set metric space and every open set that is a subset of this metric space, if X belongs to G, that is again the subset, uh, then there is some VA that X is a member of and that VA is also a subset of G. So what we have to do is prove that every subproblem metric space has a countable base, and we have gotten a hint, take all neighborhoods with duration or radius and center in some countable dense subset of X. Okay, so my idea on this essentially is uh, that if we were uh, first, let's say that for every X that belongs to capital X, uh, X belongs to the closure of E, where E is going to be the uh, countable dense subset of X. Again, it's separable, so there exists one for sure. Now that we have gotten uh, this part here, uh, let's have uh, a mapping phi from uh, points of uh, E uh, to from points of E to uh, to what? To the set of uh, neighborhoods of uh, to the set of all neighborhoods uh, of capital X. All right, now uh, have uh, this part here. Uh, how do we define uh, phi? Uh? Well, phi of x, uh, let's say that, well, for one, it's going to be a neighborhood of x specifically. Now, as for the radius, uh, let's say that it's some, um, uh, is defined uh, by another function, it's called psi, uh, psi of x. Now, as for psi, uh, be a mapping from e to rational numbers and let's say that uh, phi is uh, 1 to 1 and uh, on 2 in other words uh, that implies that uh, e is countable because q is countable uh, we already know that e is countable we didn't really care about that. However, this also implies that uh, phi of x is injective. In other words, phi of x, uh, no, image of phi is countable. Now that we have gotten this, we just need to show that image of phi is a base. So how do we do that? Well, for one, it will be helpful to define Psi. We can show that uh, for this definition of Psi that we have, uh, this will be a base and it will work. So how do we go about that? Well, let's review two cases of X. First case, uh, X belongs to E. So it's a simple one because, uh, well, uh, we already know that X belongs to G, because that's the case that we're reviewing. We don't care about other ones. And the G is arbitrary. arbitrary. So, uh, so X belongs to G. G is an open uh, subset. Therefore, X is an interior point. Therefore, there exists an R greater than zero, uh, such that uh, neighborhood uh, of X with radius R be a subset of G. Uh, therefore, we can take number Q between 0 and R that is rational and that neighborhood uh, is going to be a subset of G2. Now, okay, for this case, we already found that you can assign a rational number such that uh, the neighborhood uh, would uh, indeed uh, 
uh, be useful and we can include it in the collection. So uh, as for the second case, x uh, belongs to E prime, okay, it's a limit point, and x does not belong to E. Again, x belongs to G because other cases we don't really care about them, not relevant to the problem that we're tackling. All right, so if x is a limit point, then uh, there exists a radius greater than zero. Uh, well, no, uh, for every radius greater than zero, there exists uh, a y that belongs to E. No, belongs to neighborhood of uh, x with radius r. If this is a subset of. Uh, okay, no, belongs to neighborhood. Uh, union with the E. All right, no, now that's good. Uh, note. Okay, so how does it help us? Well, uh, Y is going to be a point in E, and uh, there exists an R, call it R1, greater than zero, uh, such that uh, neighborhood of uh, X. Uh, the radius r1 it's going to be a subset of g all right and then we can uh well plug it in here so there exists y that belongs to on r1 next uh, intersected with e next what we're going to do is well y belongs to e y belongs to g and guess what uh, we return to the initial condition here so essentially we have gotten ourselves a way to assign a neighborhood for uh, every point and that is really handy i mean why wouldn't it be so uh, yeah that's about it then you can just, well, take the neighborhood, R1, oh, Y, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you can always pick an R1 that would suffice. So, uh, that's it for today. I won't write down more negative representation because uh, I'm in pain. That is literally torture. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.